What's up, everybody? This is Juan with Matza Tacos. We've got Alan. Hello. Jeff. Hi. And Joey. Hello. Not the same one from New Kids on the Block. <laughs> so today's fun <laughs> slap me in the face time. We're going to be checking out a new beer today, just like always. The first beer up, we will have Alan do the introductions again, as he did the other evening last week. Alan, what is it that we have today? So today we have Green Cheek Beer Company. It's a beer called Swim Test. It's a hazy triple IPA. And there's lots of citra hops and a little bit of Nelson in there. Cool. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Hopefully Nelson tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I had a Nelson, he spanked me, so... Wow. Oh, just kidding. Oh, my. Yeah. Right. What was that word you used? Citra hops? Citra. Yeah. So, what is that exactly? So, that's a new word for me. So, citra hops, it kind of, like, brings out the uh, citrus... I mean, is that like an actual plant they grow, or is this is that something you call the combination? There's the so things? many different types of hops oh, really? that they have names for each okay. of it. So there's Citra hops, there's Nelson hops, there's just tons of okay. Different it smells hops. amazing. Right away, yeah. it smells so, kind of like weed. Really? Doesn't it? Do you? No. IPAs they generally have that nose. kind of weed scent to it. The nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he got we, the we, uh, toasting? Uh, yeah, a little uh, clink. Little Last time clink? I didn't say oh. the word clink. I said another one. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <duh. laughs> and only Jeff Use got the it. correct yeah, terminology. terminology. <laughs> right, let's have a, let's have a right. zipper on this. Oh, man. Jeff? Because mm. I think last time you had the uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, opinion on it. Yeah, because I, like I said last time, I generally don't like IPAs. Mm -hmm. um, these ones... This one again is it's pretty kind much of, all we're gonna have is right. IPA. So I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're, you better like it. But no, I was gonna say it to. does. <laughs> it does have that kind of sweet taste to it, probably because of the citra hops. I mm. guess I can taste the citra hops. <laughs> but yeah, you know the the hop the uh, the hops the IPAs that I'm used to having are just all bitter. But these ones yeah. with a little flavor, a little sweetness, mm -hmm. I can I can deal with it. It's it's actually not too bad. Well, I'm glad you can deal with it because it's how uh, many balls do you give it? Yeah, how um, many balls. This one's on par with last week. It's a four because it is an IPA and, you know, I can deal with it. I give okay. it a four. I don't think I ever give an IPA a five just because that's who I am. Well, because you, you don't fucking like IPAs. Yeah. So. But, you know, so I'm trying to be... a solid rating. Though. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to be, you know, open-minded and I think based that's on fantastic. If what it should be. You're, you're being completely open-minded yeah. and giving it a four. I give it a four. Cool. Four balance. I'd have to give it a four and a half. Yeah. Last week's, I'd have to drop that rating down to a three. Whoa. To compensate for the how good this one is. Yeah. This is so good it fucked yeah. up last yeah. week's one. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty bad. What's up, Joey? What do you think? Between three and three quarters and four. It's like a seven eighths or yeah. Kind of feel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm feeling I, this it. one, I think I have to do the same thing Alan did. I got to drop my last score mm -hmm. from like a four to a three because this one's. It's this good. One's, this one's hitting the tip. Yeah. <laughs> this one tastes kind of. There's like a honey after Just the tip. Yeah. Just the tip. Yeah. Like a sweetness yeah. on yeah. the cleft palate. I like mm. see. I like last week's a little. I'd say maybe a little bit better little because better. I do like more bitter flavors. Like yeah, grapefruit. Ironically, even though I don't like IPAs, I like grapefruit that kind of flavor. So mm. the sweetness is. Uh, Sometimes you get that peel taste, that fruit peel, like an orange zest. Zest, in there. yeah, I like that. It's really good. That mm -hmm. sounds like I like to cook with extremely that. delicious. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing like with the devil right now. I've got a water bottle on the right, open beer can, glass. Here's what the can looks like, like by the way. Yeah. Like and show, yeah. Yeah. show off the can because I think this is the new we have the we have the beer cam can. Cam can? Beer can cam can. can? can, can. <laughs> yeah. And why don't we describe it? You know, because yeah, not everybody's that? gonna be watching. Yeah, we have yeah. to say like the the actual logo or the design is pretty sweet. What is that a frog? Or no, it's a, a bird. It's a bird. bird. Yes. Oh shit, I see it now. <laughs> It looks like, like a It looks like a fish coming straight up eating something. I'm like, what is, or eating I a giant fang, right? I could see that. <laughs> yes. it looks like, like a, a sailboat when you look at it this way. It kind of looks like a boat, like its feathers yeah. a boat, and then maybe that's what you saw. But I don't it's know. a so it's like a drowning parrot because he's yeah. got one wing coming up. Like, help me! It's like, a wave mark. See, he's waving. If you look at the squiggles on he's, the wave. Oh yeah, or he's yeah. flailing around in yeah, panic. Yeah, he's drowning. He's testing his swim skills. That's what the name is. Swim test. I suppose. So the flippers are moving. Got yeah. it. But Maybe this brewery like suicide bird. Because the, the brewery's <laughs> been open for a little over a year. I think German? about close to a year and a half now. Yeah. And the owner 
Um, he used to be the head brewer at Noble Ale Works in Anaheim, okay. and then he opened up Green Cheek nice. with a good buddy of his, and they've been putting out phenomenal beer. Sweet. Yeah, seems yep. pretty good. It tastes amazing. I, the, the crazy thing is how unique each of the beers are that you get, mm-hmm. and it's like... Where the hell have these beers been my whole life? Uh, obviously, this one just opened up, but like, they're not the first, you know, mm-hmm. brewery serving this type of beer. And yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It was a lot different from when we first started drinking. Like, yeah, when we there first were started no drinking, it was like, let's just get brews. fucking yeah, like a it wine was all like Coors Light, the, the, and then you got <laughs> the into like the Blue Moon. Oh, you know, that yeah. Drink, oh yeah, you hefts. stepped into Blue that, Moon territory. Yeah, Sam Adams, yeah. I, I drank those for a while. Fancy. I mean, yeah. I still love my Newcastle. Sam Adams was crap. This kind of takes it over, man. Yeah. This gets rid of my little dream house, Newcastle. Oh, <laughs> I know. No, Newcastle will always have a special place. Yeah. Oh, I love Newcastle. My yeah. It's my go to right yeah. there. My, yeah. it, it, from Newcastle, I just turned it into Guinness, though. So now I'm like, Guinness on tap is yeah, I do just like. like have you ever had it on nitro? on me, you know, at night. Have you ever had uh, Guinness on nitro? <laughs> no. Is you, it even if better? You, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that the default? Explain That's how good it is. Way? I thought it was. It was. Just no. Or are you talking about in the can? Hold on, Which Joey's you explaining get how creamy it through it is. the can, <laughs> but if you go to <laughs> Let certain me go on like about the bars, creamy. some will have it on nitro. Yeah. So uh, the it, can it's itself much has a nitro tablet in there, I think. The widget, they call it, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the oh, widget. Thing. I had yeah. no idea. It's like it's a little like gas or what? bubble. Beans. When you open the can, it releases nitrogen into the yeah liquid. Should have known. Actually, when I went to real fast when you pour it. When I went to England. Guinness was like literally every bar at Guinness, and they had three different ones. And one of them said extra cold. Okay. And I can't remember the other two, but they always had three different types of Guinness at every bar. It's in, room in temp serve. I already mentioned yeah, maybe that. The, it's, some of oh, it was that. Maybe, maybe like different temperatures. I hear that. So maybe it was like room temperature cold and extra cold. I don't remember all, all the labels. So there's one other thing I wanted to mention it's 10.2%. Uh, Whoa. ABV. Whoa, also, it's a triple that's cool. Dude, that's IPA. Crazy. Yeah, that is yeah. high. It doesn't. It doesn't, taste like, it doesn't even taste like, like it. No, they yeah. hide that percentage. Great. Yep. That's like a girl with a fake ass. Like I'm gonna <laughs> drink the shit out of this, and when I get home, there's not gonna be any butt cheek. But of course, <laughs> in this one, no butt cheek. No. <laughs> You're like hashtag no butt cheek girls. <laughs> one day I'll understand your analogies. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on it. Yeah. That's <clears throat> Oh, well, I, dude, the good beer, again, great yeah, choice. Good choice. Um, I, I even, I, I was thinking like, hey, maybe I should, you know, one of us should go try and grab a beer, but like, it's probably going to taste so bad because we just don't know. And just leave like, that up oh, to yeah. me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he like throws it at us. <laughs> How dare you buy this Piss water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of crap is this? What is this, a beer for ants? <laughs> <laughs> the, the mint soda was better than this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. Okay, so what else we uh, what else we got on the table here? We have um, a little snackaroo I yeah. picked up at the uh, old Asian market. I'm gonna have Joey, our little do the honors here. He's gonna pop this open and do the honors. So see first if you can even is this one just have a basic what is it? Name? Dried anchovy snack, spicy flavor. Yeah. You gotta Ooh. put it in parentheses in case you were curious <laughs> about it. Um, well, this might need a. There's a little t- yeah. okay. A little yeah, so I was there. actually I'll as this gets opened, I, I'll kind of give you yeah, you like my thought I process. I was like walking down the aisle. So as soon as you go to Asian Market, because Asian Market has some really actually interesting foods. Yeah. Most of it's and seasoning. really good actually. labels. You look at it, it's too. just seafood and seasoning. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the candies are the only other, there? the only other thing they had was like cuttle the cuttlefish, like I told you last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's you like know, shrimp. Like I might shrimp. need a knife. But everything else is actually looks really good. It's like they have jellies. Like little jelly packets. They got these. Uh, all the crackers they have and the cookies look amazing. It's like they, like everybody in the you know copied their little sugar cookie, mm-hmm. you know designs. It's, it's yeah. There was. It's hard to find something there. At first, it was easy. You know, with just the first few. I think it's things. super locked for fresh. I got it. I got it. That so thing's got child protection. Note, or what? Are there any delicacies yeah. like good me- Mexican delicacies? The uh, noodle. Well, yeah, the best exactly. is menudo and yeah. uh, cow tongue. Cow tongue is oh, amazing. Oh, God. Lengua. Yeah, like, if you go see it, it looks weird because it's like this. It looks like it's I would, like never, a tongue around. I, I tongue? would oh. never eat tongue. Yeah. Oh, you'll Dude, do it's it. fine. No. La uh, Tiendita, San Clemente. Like Everyone should go there. It tastes like West Coast. No, like not exactly. Yeah. If you cook it has a bit of a... You got to cook it right. A bit of a game Nah, just the thought of tongue, no thanks. It's crazy. Have you ever had cabeza? Cabeza tongue? I didn't care for the flavor. I love that. I Cabeza, had some, but 
Can we, okay, I got it open. So first yeah, note about oh, nice. these uh, fish snacks is that they like basically sealed it with packing tape yeah. instead of whatever the hell they usually use. So that was fun. <laughs> I like how they sprinkle sesame seeds all here, over Here, let me show thing. the camera real quick over yeah. here. Yeah. Give it a nice Beer cam. Sniff in there. So dried anchovy snack. Dried anchovy snacks. They look... Disgusting, but at yeah. first glance, I thought they were those sesame sticks mm-hmm. with the sesame. Yeah, sticks. those are good because that's, that's what they look like. And put yeah. them into those something are really else. good. I thought they were pretzels when you brought them. Yeah, it's like I all right, agree. I can deal with is that. Just, <laughs> just imagine it is. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's not too potent. The odor is not too potent. No, I imagine it's actually it, gonna be pretty good. It smells like a pet store or something. Oh no, it's oh, really God. weird. Like you're eating guppy. You got me the wrong direction now. Guppy. Oh, maybe and they're it's because sticky. of the, the fish section, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like, in the so they're actually store. stuck to each other. They have like a gumminess to it, oh, like a yeah. glaze. Well, don't touch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all. Yours it's just now. one nacho. If I bring one up, right? All of it. We're like, well, okay. Here's a good size uh, one. That looks like a. Like yeah, I'll you, go next. You got one. Which one did you touch? On you can bird. actually <laughs> see like the, uh, the, the body. <laughs> Underneath, no, that's it's a like big a chicken one. Wing, like yeah, a that looks like a drum, like a drum. Oh, God. oh, that's a, oh, yeah. that is a nasty. All right, wait, hold on. We got to touch like the tips after I get mine. Let me get mine. It's all you, touch you tips. Touch tips. Well, yeah. yeah, you know the tips of the food. Mm. I think Let's both see. of you guys are gonna hate this. I don't know you well enough, Joey, yet to know, <sighs> but I think they're gonna fucking hate oh, this. Good thing I, got this one. I like it. Smells anchovies. pretty gnarly. Yeah, I'm scared I do too. of this one, to be honest. All right, touch the tips. All right, tip touch. We're going in. All right. You got that glaze feel on there? Hmm. I, I get immediately fish. A yeah. fishiness. Immediately fish. Immediately oh! fishy. It which like, makes sense, right? It's an oh! anchovy. Just like... Oh, the deeper I go, the worse it gets, though. Oh, oh this is... Mm, this is like oh. anal sex for the first time. Oh, God. <laughs> like, you don't know what's coming out. Oh, man. It tastes like freaking old <laughs> rodent food. It tastes like old fish, like, like that yeah. you found oh. on a It tastes couch. like a guinea pig's like cage, like the way that yeah. There's a pet store. Like, yeah. I was talking about <laughs> if, if smell had a taste, yeah. that is totally what it is. If smell had a taste, <laughs> <laughs> Joey's turning completely bright red now. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh. why did I just stick the rest of it in my I mouth? I don't know. That was concerning because you got to man up and finish it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I oh. could taste the sweetness of the. I, the, the it's seeds going now. through the beer flavor, like oh, it's just cutting oh, straight through like a. Samurai that's terrible. <laughs> that's not very good. Oh, it's gonna play Fruit Ninja with my butt later. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> cutting this through those hard bits you oh. can't chew. I don't know if that's I gonna go out easy tomorrow. Hole. I didn't bother trying. It seriously it. tastes like like rodent food, and it hovers on the back of the mouth. Well, I can't say I'm gonna have uh, another. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just has yak. this essence of. Just Old food that's been laying around, and for some reason you ate it. Yeah, for some well, reason. Yeah, it's like it's like an old fish stick. Like it was crunchy yeah. and it just sat there for a while. Like you oh. found a fish stick in your couch cushions. Like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna eat this. Like what weeks the hell? later. Yeah, yeah. A little that's bit of a good. Left. Oh, this is great, dude. That's perfect. Put a little <laughs> sugar and sesame seed on it. Let's oh eat it. god. <laughs> That's exactly. I'm like starting yeah. to get like the sweats right yeah, now. Me too. I got oh, hot from well, it. So it's got the chili. It, oh man, I don't oh, no, taste no. any spice. No, no spice. spice. I think no? it's just like the oils like yeah. got to me or something. It was really fucking weird. Yeah, my stomach's a little. Uh, You'll be all right. Are you gonna be all right? I'm gonna be all right. You I'm not gonna mouth throw up. Feed but, me it or something. Oh, <laughs> it's in my molars. Oh, yeah, it's all sticky. Yeah, <laughs> it's like candy. Like. It's like anchovy candy. I was really <sighs> confident that was going to be pretty worst okay. candy. Right, ever. I've had anchovies before, and this oh. is the worst anchovy oh. I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, my God, that was the, you're like, that Papa John's worst. anchovies are bomb. By Literally, the way. The worst. right Where out of the can. It oh. Oh. it's pretty good. I don't Whew. even know. I don't even know where you go from that. Are you sure they're not expired? So like, is the date? <laughs> yeah. Is it you know fresh? Up? I didn't even look. Date. You're totally oh, right. God. It's like We're bad fish what? we're eating right now. <laughs> if it's well, expired, I mean, we don't know. We don't even know. Is, I don't see anything on here. Is there anything on the lid? Didn't we stop like it's getting export the from that? No, I look. <laughs> it's just says number 910. Oh, which is shit. The type of plastic That's the batch it came in. 9 out of 10. Don't smell that. Let's, oh, let's smell it. Let's jar this back up. Yeah, I don't think that shit expires. I think, I think it's you, been expired yeah. since they packaged it. <laughs> That's why they make this is because they take the expired anchovies. Like fuck it. Let's drop that off at a fire station, uh, like, yeah. like oil or biohazard Ooh. shit. Yeah, get a you know biohazard yeah. tape around it. <laughs> Just drop oh. it off. That's pretty I don't bad. Know what to do with it? What do I do? Well, we could, feed birds would love it. That's you know true. Be funny. Yeah, seagulls. It's like a. Would. 
like bury it in the yard somewhere, and I bet in like a year it would still look the same. <laughs> yeah, look the same. <laughs> Tastes really good. One year from now, we'll <laughs> dig it up for that podcast. Episode 100. Yeah. <laughs> Digging up the anchovy stuff. Not a bad <laughs> idea for next year. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Good God. <clears throat> it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. So, anyhow. Uh, well, yeah. that was good. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, that was definitely a taste of the tongue. <laughs> it's hard to you know you got to challenge yourself to eat some of the stuff like last yeah. week that yogurt you just made me want to puke out of my freaking I, I would everything. go for that yogurt over really this. I would do this really? over the yogurt the yogurt nah. really put me on edge is there any man. more of that yogurt soda I think you nah. still had, did you did you throw no. it away? we tossed it okay we, yeah curious yeah. it was disgusting. it was like rotten milk have you ever had yeah. milk. After you pour it and it's got chunks and you didn't realize and you take it. <laughs> oh, it with a little mint disgusting. flavor. Oh, with mint added. With mint. Yeah. It well, reminds imagine. me of that like Prilosec or that diarrhea medicine <laughs> yeah. with that mint cream, you know? Yeah, it's like creamy mint. Down. Yeah, imagine putting that in milk and then <laughs> it's carbonated. That's horrible. <laughs> it's carbonated on top. Yeah. yeah. It's carbonated. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. It's really weird. That sounds uh, horrible. Just like goat cream. It tastes like oh, goat yeah. cream. <laughs> How do you know what ghost from tastes like? Well, I went to Ireland. That's another time. episode, <laughs> folks. What you say? I went to that and he had some goats. <laughs> it was sheep. Oh, it's a sheep over there, hey? <laughs> hey, that's good. If you're a leprechaun, you like that. Uh, <laughs> thank God for this uh, good beer. Yeah, the beer's. The beer saves us. Saves mm-hmm. right. this one. The beer is pretty good. Oh, saves my life. So, what's the, what's the next homebrew? What's the homebrew plans? What do we got going? What's your plan? Next, we're doing a uh, double IPA with green tea. We did it before with uh, a buddy of ours. Um, I think about a year ago. We're going to try and replicate it. But this time, instead of using green tea bags, we're going to do possibly uh, green tea ice cream. Ooh. Oh, that would taste... All right. Amazing. Oh, I think it yeah. tastes good. Well, but the okay. thing, it's interesting though when you put all those flavors in, and like in the end, depending, on, I'm assuming how you how long you you brew it for, or you're like I don't know what is the fermenting process that gets all the flavors. What, what yeah, actually, depending on you can add the ingredients during the fermenting process. So I could add okay. the green tea then, or I could do it during the boil, but that would kind of kill all the flavor. Okay. So what's so, your, what's your normal like go to on how to do it? How to do what? Like to get more flavor, like based on the, the type During of During the fermenting process. During the fermenting, okay. Yeah. Cool. So what does it mean when you say double IPA and how do you make that differently? So a single IPA is usually around like six to maybe eight percent. Mm-hmm. Double IPA would be anything above eight percent to about like close to ten percent. And then a triple IPA would be anything 10 and above. Okay. So what is the process? You know, how does it change to make the different alcohol content? Adding more sugars. Um, you know. That's it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's like double scoop sugar. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that, that helps the uh, alcohol content. Yeah. As much sugar as you could put in there. Uh, <laughs> like it. depending on like. What fruits you put in there? Um, right. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, alcohol uh, is made from sugar. So. Yeah, alcohol yeah. is basically a different form of sugar. <clears throat> yeah. You know. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar me up. Yeah. And give me diabetes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Did they say that if you know long term, if you eat a lot of sugar, you'll have the same health defects as if you drink a lot of alcohol because it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell this bacon keto diet works. I've like, I'm you know bacon what? keto. Yeah, well, like, it doesn't have to be bacon. Well, yeah, but that sounds like it just sounds. My Joey's sister, help. Joey's sister's on, on it for the last keto two diet. weeks, and yeah. she's already lost like twelve pounds. Yeah. What? I lost thirty yeah. pounds on it, and it's mostly like you could still eat like yeah, junk food. I'm back on it right now. You got to stay away from the. Like it's the carbs you got to stay away from. Like I have done so much studying. I could talk for the next hour on this shit. I was here about just at the grocery store yesterday. I feel like I'm gonna die. They're like, Juan, you get to eat all this, and I'm like, okay. Like yeah, when, when, when I switched, <laughs> no, when I switched my diet from just like unhealthy eating, you know, I was eating in and out like three, four times a week. Yeah, yeah. you were. When I, when I, I went remember. to uh, 
vegan. Yeah. I lost 35 pounds in a month and a half. And what were you eating, though? Burgers. Jeez. Before? <laughs> no, I mean, like, what were you eating on the vegan diet? Uh, there's a few vegan restaurants that are down the street from here. So, so. like, soy protein, or what was your, like, main uh, staple? Wheat, soy, and pea proteins, um, you know, mm. no dairy, uh, and that was it. That's weird. So, yeah. my experience with keto is, like, completely opposite. I cut out all carbs and just went crazy on like I bacon fat. and cheese, cream cheese. Oh, so she, I love cheese. I put heavy cream in my coffee. I love like, heavy cream. It's so good. It's and like, I lost weight like crazy. That's what they say. Yeah. Really? Yeah, but it, but it I, makes I perfect feel sense. like it's unhealthy though no, because well, you're still eating I mean, like the kind of crappy I, foods. Well, you're eating a lot of fat, but fat I don't think fat's that bad for you. It's really it's not that bad. Well, for you. it's bad fat. There's good fat. There's good <laughs> fat. 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 That's true. Say. <laughs> there's there's there are healthier fats like you got to eat a lot of avocados and nuts to get the mm-hmm. vegetable fats. I feel but, like I'm I'm like the best case study because at this point <laughs> any diet will make me drop dude, like 50 pounds. Dude, if you I will coach you on keto, you'll you could lose I, 100 I'm, I'm, pounds. You were on a diet easy. for a little while well, there. I, I think I lost like 20 pounds already on the one I'm, that I've been doing. Yeah. Cuz I've, I've been doing like a really like a low calorie diet where I'm just eating like these very portioned out uh meals that I purchase. But it it works because I mean I've I lost a pant size. But how do you how do you feel like are, do they I, leave I you like, like craving more stuff? If I if I see the thing is you have to follow. If I drink the water that I'm supposed to and I eat the snacks in the timely like the time I'm supposed to eat every two and a half hours. If mm-hmm. I eat those meals every two and a half hours with the water, I'm totally fine. But the second that I like miss a cup of water. Or like the one cup of coffee or whatever that I get. I'm Bro. like, I need some fucking Cheetos. <laughs> like I look at them, like well, let someone's me, eating Cheetos or something. Like, Cheetos. Let me That's tell you why killer, you, oh. keto is better for that. For me, the reason keto worked is probably because I could stick to it. Yeah. And the, the best thing about it is that you can eat very rich, heavy foods like bacon. I bought a lot of pork rinds. Oh, I bought a lot of different pork cheeses. Rinds. Yeah, yeah, that's what I so, said yesterday. So when you get hungry, you just have a little bit yeah. of cheese. Yeah. And you but what's eat, the portion that you have? It doesn't matter. Really? It doesn't. Don't I mean, say that. No, Dairy's well, okay. not good for you. To though. be fair, it does matter, <laughs> but you can't... <laughs> You would not be able to eat yeah, too the same much. Amount. Yeah, because you'd right? be like, get You ever sick. just like start eating cheese? How much can you eat? Yeah, you, not you, much. After yeah, a few minutes, you're sick, like, yeah. Ugh. Like and that's the whole is idea. Is even, <laughs> before, even before I switched my diet, I was never I feel you on that. I love okay. cheese. Except love for like cheese. pizza. I, you know, yeah. I always loved pizza. Well, the best but, diet is the one you like and you can stick to. That's it. If you can't, if it's like super effective, but you're like, fuck this. I'll be honest. I've been on this thing because like I said, my sister's been doing the last couple weeks. I just started doing the beginning of this week. I'm I'm not hungry. And That's I've, the best part. I've, I switched what? from having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for breakfast. Oh, now I'm eating so bacon and eggs. Okay, you want oh, you just want, bacon and eggs? And you want the science? Me. Here we go. Here's the science. Okay, yeah. tell okay. me the science. So when you eat carbohydrates and sugars, your body runs primarily on sugars. Okay, right. so you eat sugar. Your body's looking for sugar for energy. You store sugar in your liver, and that's your primary fuel source. So right. anybody who exercises, you have to burn off all that sugar. If your goal is to lose fat, lose weight and fat, you have to burn off all the sugar in your blood, then you have to burn off all the sugar in your liver, and then you switch to burning your fat, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have no sugar in your system to begin with, and you're already burning fat from what you eat, as soon as you're done eating or your your body's out of the fat that you ate, it switches immediately to the fat in your body. And you'll feel hungry for a little while, and once it switches to eating your own fat, you don't feel hungry anymore. (laughs) It's the weirdest fucking thing. That's so weird. Yeah. I need to do it. It's easy. All right. Tell me what to eat. So okay. far, it's easy. Just tell me what to eat. I'm going to do it right now. I'll write it you down. Gotta, you got to cancel out bread, anything uh, with carbs, so rice. I, I, the hardest I don't think I could ever give up bread. See, I could do dude, it. I did. You know what I had for go, dinner was salad with it. ground beef on it. I did it all the time. That's all I did. It was like, top of ground beef on really? my salad. You know what my favorite yeah, thing to do is? thing. My favorite keto thing. working out pretty well. I go to When I go to Mexican restaurant, I order a chili relleno, and I order a taco, whatever kind of say carne asada taco. Right? Yeah. <laughs> just and I just get the dump the taco out on top of the chiloriano and throw the fucking tortilla away. <laughs> and it's the best thing. Really? It's so good. Sinful. Free, 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 free. Yeah. <laughs> Don't dump the damn tortilla. <laughs> Carne asada and chiloriano. <laughs> Well, you said you need like the sour cream and the cream is a big thing because I love coffee with cream. Like, yeah, coffee with cream is just like 
It feels Did like you a know, sin when I drink it black. If you go to Starbucks or a lot, most coffee places, you ask for heavy cream. They have it behind the counter. They'll put it in. Heavy cream. Yeah. Heavy cream. Like stuff that they make so whipping, whipped cream. I, I, I only got to do Baileys in my coffee. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You got to have Baileys. That's you a know, lot of I, I, I think I've only had it like <laughs> once. <laughs> Did you get your token last week for... <laughs> what? It's, it's alcohol. It's not this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I drink Baileys they every morning. <laughs> Just, Not every morning, though. Okay. Just, yeah. yeah, your work's like, hmm, Alan, interesting. <laughs> like, what's up? Man, feels so good right now. <laughs> okay, okay, you give me the diet. You tell me exactly what to do. I'll do it, man. All right. And then just take a, take a fat picture of me with like the, my wings, and yeah. then you'll be like... My wings? Yeah, yeah I know. Before and after? Before and after. Yeah. Like, Actually, uh, there's, a, there's a guy I used to work with. He started out at... 340, 340 pounds. And after three, four months on keto, he was under 300. What? Yeah. That's crazy. And he said it was the first time he's under 300 since high school. He's and apparently, you don't wow, need to even amazing. change your activity. You just yeah. change your eating. Just the eating. That's just the eating. That's what I was crazy. saying. Yeah. The only reason you I'm exercise. Lose my damn mind. <laughs> the only reason you exercise is to get rid of all that sugar. You're promising me like, the, like a yeah. heavenly meal. I'm only I'm doing it because my sister has food. progress. That's yeah. the only reason why it's I'm amazing. doing it. amazing. Because now, my sister's been doing it. What about the sodium? I mean, do you have to watch the sodium amount? I don't know about it. Sodium is not. There's a lot of salt and bacon, and I've been eating a lot of bacon. Yeah. I have high blood pressure. If Your you sister was doing the vegan thing too for a little while. It's hard because you get all weak. I feel oh, all weak. I never felt weak. I know. I don't know. How, I've tried doing that, but I get tired and weak, and then I start oh, craving. Oh yeah, vegan. vegan thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 I never craving got tired meat. or anything. I felt like I always like had I'll energy. eat someone. You I want to eat so had, bad. You've, okay, but you've even had you've had a fast metabolism like ever for the. I eat pretty fast, and <laughs> yeah. I, I think do eat just a your lot. blood type yeah. veganism is best for you. You've never even come close to two hundred pounds. This is not even no. The the biggest I got was about one sixty five. Wow, Jesus! I was that when I was I'm I'm about I'm about five foot five, just so everybody knows. Yeah. So now I I fluctuate between like one thirty and one thirty five. That's so crazy. My left foot's like about a 160 right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get? A, I bet you 20 bucks. You get a scale. I'm gonna give it an E right now. You know, I remember that. I'll do it right now. You got a scale. You, I'll do you want to talk about? What my, do you think you weigh right now? My uh, skills, uh, batteries. Right now, I'm probably like three. <laughs> Dead. I, lo- I was three, I was 335. I think I lost about 20, 30 pounds, and then I lost like a belt. Like my entire belt size is like yeah. down, like a whole pant. When we used to hang waist. out, when we first hung so, out, you were 360, weren't you? Yeah. Well, the lowest I got what? when yeah. you didn't know me was two 245. Right. 245 during our, 20% body fat. During our and breakup I doing, period. I, I remember you like, were working out at that point oh, for a, a while. Monster, yeah. I was a monster. I was doing But you were doing uh, uh, uh what are those uh pills the uh no, I not, the crack. not pills, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No meth. <laughs> you were wait, wait, smoking. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> heroin, right? Yeah, that's what it was. I totally forgot. Let's just throw it out there, right? Let's tell the truth. <laughs> no, I was. I was originally. I, I took the uh, the diet pills. Yeah, just basically like they're just caffeine. Pills. Speed, right? In the end, or, well, in the end, it was yeah. like caffeine plus a chemical that they didn't that they determined. That kind of reminds me of that uh, like Saved by the Bell episode. Yeah, so yeah. What one? fact. The one with uh, Jesse, where she's taking the caffeine pills. Mm-hmm. Oh, Saved by the Bell, right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. She gets all moody. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was like, pretty much it. Just I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Her friends are all worried. All the time. How the hell did you know that? God, that's a <laughs> damn. That's a classic. Yeah. Right? So I, I basically, I went through. Okay, so I'll talk. Let's talk like weight loss. Like a, a big thing happened with me and weight loss. I fluctuated twice. Once when I quit smoking and I was like 24, I think, 24, yeah, I think it was like 24, uh, 25, started working out, I lost weight and I, I was like, I can't do this while smoking. So at that point, I think I was like 280, 280 between 270, and 280. And for me, that was, that's really good. I'm 6'2". Mm-hmm. So being and my weight kind of distributes really well. At least I think it does. Mm-hmm. God knows naked it doesn't. But when I, I, I hit a point and I was like, I got to stop smoking. Quit smoking and all of a sudden I was like, dude, this is awesome. But then I kind of just like chilled out for a little bit and I stopped going so intense. Like I was doing six days a week. So a couple years later, I gained more weight back and I'm like, I got to do this again. So I find a guy online. His name is Chris Getthin. Go figure. His last name. He's a bodybuilder. He's That's his real last that's his name. Real last, well, I don't know. Come on. We'll, 
<laughs> we'll no, look it up later. Not. But he had a program. It was a 90-day program, and he's a bodybuilder. He actually gained fat, and he took pictures of everything with him with a f- huge belly in, in video. Not like it was you know digitally modified or anything. He lost all the weight. Now, he's a bodybuilder. His body, he knows how to train his body. He knows that he could do it, right? And his, he already had the muscle underneath all that fat. He just basically shoved a lot of fat on top of his like six-pack and said, I'm going to burn it. So at first I was like, oh, this has got to be bullshit, like this program, you know, but genuinely I followed everything except for his supplements because I did a lot of research on supplements and I'm like, you know what, a lot of the supplements are BS, you don't really need all of them and I proved it because I didn't take them and I lost just as much weight as the guy who did take supplements and I went from, I think like like 300 because I was back up to 300 by then and I went down to 245 in the the 60 days and then I did an extra 20 days after the 60 and I plateaued at 245 but throughout that I you know did, also did plateaus and I figured out how to get through them but I worked out so much that it finally hit me that no matter what I ever do mm-hmm. I have to literally work out 6 days a week and be on a regimen to maintain because I was maintaining my weight at 245 and I wasn't like six pack I was still a big guy but I had a shitload of more muscle like I could lift a lot I could leg press a lot I could do you know for me doing I think I did four or five push uh, pull ups like the hard ones so it was like you know an accomplishment and I knew what it took to get there Mm -hmm. and at that point I was like do I really want to do this and then we had a kid I gained it all back and it went it just went to hell well, it's really about the diet. I mean, that proves right there. You could work your ass off, and if you're not eating the right thing, yeah, you're not yeah. ever going to get matter. down to a certain level. Dang like, I heard so a funny much. thing somebody said. Like, if you want to look good with your clothes on, just diet. If you want to look good with your clothes off, go to the gym. Yeah. So, for most much. people, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I did P90X for a while. I, I did like it for that. three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, my God. It was so freaking intense. Yeah. But I, I remember my first day, I threw up. <laughs> And then by uh, the ninety days, I I had a six pack and no I remember you. Came I was able to do one handed push ups and <laughs> see I'm the little mighty mouse out. <laughs> He's doing kind of in top show. It was crazy. He's like, peanut, you shit. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I, I need to start Super doing it again, man. start working out again, because yeah. I've been so lazy lately. Yeah. It's so you. hard. Like, who can yeah. maintain that their yeah. whole life? Yeah. I mean, not many people. It, you know? th- unless it's your, like, career. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, Everybody honestly, who's got a job and kids, fuck, yeah. there's no way. I just <laughs> want to come home and just sit on the couch and take yeah. a nap as soon as I get home from work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, like, I just started... Don't sit on the left side of the couch, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just started keto again for the first time since my son was born. Because, like, as soon as he was born, it's like, pfft. Yeah. There's too well, much. I, I only I heard about the about. keto diet just, like, maybe a few months ago. Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah. I, I started it over a year ago for the first time. I, got I just heard about it, it recently. Like it. it sounds it's like great. a magic middle. That, uh, that I'll tell you right now. I felt guilty <clears throat> eating bacon for breakfast. That's what I do. Let me tell you one to. time. I went yeah. to so I, can't a, um, I went to a restaurant and I ordered on their menu. They have a omelet that has bacon and cream cheese in it. Okay, oh, amazing. I ate that whole thing. I swear to God, I didn't eat the rest of the day, and I never got hungry. The rest Filled of the you day. the whole day. The whole day, that one meal kept me full because of the fat content. Mm. That's how you're supposed to get full. Is the the fat satisfies you? And you don't feel like eating. Versus when you eat, you know, lots of bread and rice, or whatever, you get full when your stomach is literally physically full. Yeah. And you feel shitty after that, right? Like yeah. You, and then you're hungry like then, an hour later. Exactly. That's yeah. like so Panda Express. You're supposed to get full from the <laughs> fat. Or like content. when you eat sushi, you know. Yeah. You, oh, I love you sushi. eat a ton of it, you feel full, and There's then no like an hour it. later, That's why. you're just like, <laughs> That's I gotta true. eat again. Yeah. I'm starving. Yeah, not a it's lot of fat. fat. It's lean protein from yeah, the Yeah, because think about yeah. how we were, because you know, your body thinks you're still a caveman. Yeah. Honestly, there's no difference. So when we were cavemen, we didn't have grains. We didn't make bread. We didn't pick. You know, imagine a caveman picking a million little pieces of rice and then boiling it. That did not happen. You'd eat plants. You'd eat some fruits if you could find it, and you'd eat meat when you can kill it. Yeah, that's it. And that's what our bodies are are made to process. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, all right. Give me the yeah, give <laughs> hashtag me that keto. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag keto. Let's fucking do it. <clears throat> Let's all, right. all do but it. You know, the one thing I will say, I was a 
addicted. To I wonder if there's a keto out. vegan diet. Oh, it's <laughs> hard. There is. It's Dude, there's like hard. eight really? genders. Yeah. There has is to there, be a keto so vegan. It's <laughs> basically you become a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <It's like laughs> it's like, <laughs> and you have to eat a lot because you have to eat all yeah. the plants and stuff, you know? There's a keto <laughs> We come over with this hedge of lettuce for Alan. We're like, hey, you hungry, buddy? You hungry, fella? That's all you get. You just got a carrot and hungry fella? There Actually, you go. Carrots are not keto. <laughs> hungry fella? The carrots go. aren't keto? They're starchy. Oh They're like potatoes. Think about it. They grow underground. Potatoes, I realize, are like 26 carbs per. Yeah. And I love potatoes. Potatoes, carrots. God, I don't, I don't think I could ever give up fries, though. I love fries so much. You know what? I'm such I'm a fry I was gonna enthusiast. I say, um... You know, as soon as I'd say you give it two weeks on keto and probably any diet, but after two weeks, you stop thinking about that stuff. Like, I don't crave those things like I used to. Like, yeah. even though I've been on and off keto, I still I don't eat hamburgers with the bun. I don't you'll never see me eating a bowl of pasta because, you know, you're good without it because I don't I don't crave it. Yeah, and exactly. I know how devastating it is to me for my weight. And I'm doing good so far. Yeah, it's, it's been a week, and I'm not craving any it. rice. After a while, you don't noodles. Miss it. That's like me with meat, though. I don't miss it at That's all. That's true. I mean, yeah, I can't, honestly, whatever I don't works think I for can you. Do it. I can't yeah. do it. Man. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. The bread is Carne like, asada fries. Um, <laughs> you know so I do eat. You know, even when I'm on keto, I have carbs for fun. Like I'll have ice cream. Like, and like the way a cheat I'll, day. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And the way I look at it, it's like, if I'm going to eat carbs, it's going to be fucking worth it. Right? Yeah. I'm not just going to eat some stupid uh, yeah. plate of beans. Just go sushi or right? something. For me, it'd be chilaquilas homemade. Like, yeah, just have that once a month or whatever. Be fine. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. legit. I'll be right back. Give me one quick second. Uh-oh. Do we continue? Yeah, keto is scientifically proven and it's crazy. It's the only diet that is working for my sister. So I dabbled into it and I'm... I'm actually liking it. I don't crave food. I had dinner yeah. and I'm not even hungry. Have I you usually had keto eat twice. Brain yet? What the hell is that? So, um, did you say keto brain? Keto brain. <laughs> when you're truly what? in ketosis, you're oh, you like feel... keto flu. Is that no, what you mean? No, like they get thing. sick. My sister mentioned that. No, I mean that happens to some people and them to me. I they don't get sick or something. No, but keto brain is uh, it's you feel like more clear and awake. It's so Weird. it's so strange. You're like woke. things just feel like brighter and easier and they yeah. say it's because your brain runs more efficiently on ketones oh, than sugar and you can feel it i swear to god you can feel it it's like just a high take, uh, ginkgo yeah. biloba for that whatever yeah i don't know <laughs> or a good old saint john's wort <laughs> yeah saint john's wort <clears throat> oh my god sorry <clears throat> i need to drink more because i smoke so much yeah yeah speaking of Keto, this is totally destroying my ketosis. Right? Oh, dude. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Damn. How many okay. carbs do you think are in this bag? A lot. Yeah. I'm Small sure. brews have a lot of carbs. It's like you don't even want to look. Yeah. Oh. But it's okay. I've been good. I just go back to my I've been, been good too. You, you can fail. Just go back boy. the next day. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, okay, so Joey. I kind of want to talk because the how did you and Alan meet? I don't. We, I, I want to hear the story. Hey, who the fuck are you? You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get here? Who, is, <laughs> who the hell gave you a ride? No, how did you guys meet? Karaoke, actually. Just um, okay. actually, you know what? I uh, it was for a mutual friend at In and Out. We used, I used to work at In and Out. Okay. And uh, he had a friend that worked there with me, and um, Adam Brown. Hi. He uh, introduced <laughs> us together, and then hi, we Adam. Used to, yeah, Adam. <laughs> and we used to go to karaoke. We used to meet at karaoke, and me and I, I used to duet together, and uh, we used to do it together. <laughs> <laughs> we used to like do duet it together with your pants. We, on. we yeah. used to sing uh, endless bodies, Bo- oh, okay. and endless. the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> So he, I, I would do the clean vocals. He would do the screaming because he used to be in bands where he was the oh, he, the, the screamer scream. and oh, wow. it was awesome. Yeah, we we like yeah. had it down. So it was almost like a a thing we did every week. Okay, and became really good friends, and we enjoyed beer, and we started brewing together, and sweet fell yeah. in love. And <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> We, we took Where glamour. was your honeymoon? <laughs> yeah. We took glamour shots together at the mall. Oh, yeah. Put oh, it in God. our, in our folders. That? That would be amazing. Me yeah. and Juan actually did that. Did you? What, no shit. What, what, were we, we were still in high school or it was Rebecca. after, it was after Cholo high glamour school. Shots? Yeah, uh, your friend Rebecca. It was, it was the worst thing ever. Like the Cholo ones? Uh, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. If <laughs> yeah. Al, yeah, it was so Those weird. are the best, man. I no, love but it was Put weird. in your folder. You Do know? you still have I any have of those pictures? It's somewhere yeah. at my mom's house. <laughs> I don't. When we moved out, or when I'm, yeah, when I moved out of my mom's house, like, God knows how long ago, <laughs> I was like 27. 
And <laughs> no, I was no, I was way earlier than that. Anyways, we I had a box of stuff, and Brenda and I were going through it, and we're like, "What is this? She's like, Who is this?" And I'm like, "Oh God, let me see that." And she, I tell her the story, and she's like, "Wow!" Like that, she looked at me like, "I I don't know if I can go through with this." <laughs> it was so bad. Do, Where's do that I, photo? Do you remember the story behind it? Like what happened that day? Uh uh-uh. uh We were just. So I it was I think it was one of the days where you either had your Motorola razor and we thought you're the coolest shit ever, or we both they were like fucking razor, and like you went. It's to pick so it up. thin. Yeah, <laughs> the Motorola. That was razor. awesome. I really like it. Yeah. So we went to yeah, the well. Mission Viejo Mall because yeah. it wasn't malls at shops at Mission. It was mm-hmm. Shops at Mission. Viejo. Yeah. It was still when it was like a it shitty was mall. So ghetto with tilt. Remember tilt? Yeah. yeah. You know, it was fun and games. Was it fun and games? I thought it was T- tilt. Tilt was at Laguna Hills Mall. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, stop fucking Come on, right. man. Get your How dare you not remember <laughs> the history of Mission Viejo? <laughs> so we, we were there, and uh, it was the thing at the time. That was just the thing. Like, we walked by the uh, photo place, and they had the glamour shots, and she was kind of like a ghetto, you know, Hispanic Mexican girl, and she was like, yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, I guess we're going to do it to be cool, you know? So, <laughs> sure enough. Cool. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah it, was it was the cool, cool thing to do back yeah. in the day. Yeah, it was like when we got our ears pieced. Ears, <laughs> ears pieced. Piece. Ears pieced. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just knew where I'm I, from. I had, Milwaukee. yeah, I had both ears oh, and then my so uh, cartilage pierced. Oh, yeah. Dude, you had bleached your tips and yep, everything. yep. You had everything. You were like, yep. Frosty. I had my tips. tongue pierced yes. for a little while, no yeah. and then I remember oh, yeah, a, sucked, a few weeks later, probably <laughs> suck you. I had no idea you had your tongue. A few pierced. weeks later, after I got my tongue pierced, me and my family we went out to dinner, my God. and I was eating. And as soon as I opened my mouth, my mom saw like a glare in my mouth, and she's like, "What is that?" It's like, what are you Piece talking about? Work. Imitate your mom as best as possible right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Oh, man. Bobby, <laughs> Alan, what is that? <laughs> no, no. She was like, what is that in your mouth? It's like, what are you talking about? She's like, open up your mouth. Oh, yeah. shit. So I open it, and she's like... <laughs> Take that shit out right now. <laughs> so I had sat there and I unscrewed oh, it. Was your dad that out. Old were you? Yeah, it was me, oh, my man. dad, You're my like, what are you turning that sister to be a queer or something? What the <laughs> 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 and then when they found out about my tattoos, oh man! Oh, they wanted to that, was, that was a are that they, was a good story. So it's yeah. like body desecration. Yeah, like I, I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery, oh, you know. And, Damn. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you can't. We're gonna sneak in though. Just don't, <laughs> just don't die, man. <laughs> I, Jeff's I was, got his legs. I've got his arms. So I, I, I was I was sleeping, <laughs> and my mom came in my room, and my leg was hanging halfway off the bed, and the cover was, you know, oh, no. obviously not covering my leg. Yeah, yeah. So she comes in my room, and she's like, "What is that?" <laughs> it's like, "What are you talking about?" I was still like half asleep. Yeah. And she goes, what is that on your leg? Is that is that a real tattoo? It's like, no, 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 it's fake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so she leaves the room. She comes back like 20 minutes later, and she's like, please tell me that's not real. I said, yeah, it's real. Dude, that's, yeah, that was probably so she, the worst moment she, of her life. Like, yeah, she sat down, and she like started crying. And, of course. Oh, jeez. I mean, she was like, how that? could you mutilate your body? You know what you've done to this family by doing that? She's like, what is that, a dragon? I said, no, it's a koi fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even that cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it means good luck in Japanese. So. Yeah. If you're not uh, Japanese. Hand me your can. I'll throw it oh, for it. Man, Thank totally. You. There you go. Yeah, totally insane. So do I, they believe, like, you can't go to heaven? Or what's the deal? Like, why would it be so devastating? Uh, because... You know, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really follow well, it much well, anymore, I was going to bring up another, like, uh... But I, I know I can't, like, be buried in a Jewish cemetery because I mm. have tattoos. Craziness. Woo-wee. Yeah. Well... 
So we took these weird pictures and oh, uh, yeah. back and we, to the fun. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the photos and the weird. So we just did weird stuff when we were when I was younger with Alan, and it was only with Alan. Like it was like, hey Jeff, you want to go get some pictures with me and get our ears pierced? Like that. Never happened. Me is like, hey, we're together. All right, we're playing video games. Yeah, we're playing video games <laughs> and uh, pretending. Cyber City. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. World of Warcraft. Oh, that was Dude. see that was well, with, first World of Warcraft was with Rob and uh, and what's it? What was I never name? played Journey. And I Turney. never will. Oh, never God. Will. Turney, yeah. if he's out there. I, sh- I talk to him on uh, Discord every once in a while. Are you serious? Yeah, he's he, still alive? He's still alive. Oh, my God. That guy. Yeah. You should I come on Discord with me. And uh, Rob's on there. Turney's on there. And then you can talk to, like, probably. Did you ever play WoW? Yeah. No. No? I was, the, I was the number one shaman. Like, mm-hmm. PvP. There was nobody better than me. <laughs> I've tried I it. I right remember a lot of time. one time we were supposed to hang out, me and you. Yeah. So I came over and you were still in your like <laughs> wife beater and your undies just saying wow. You're like wow. It was like it was South like, Park so, episode. Uh, yes. when, the, when Cartman's in his wife beater. Uh, hey, Matt. Matt. <laughs> Matt, get the back. Like, just, just another was, 20 minutes yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hang out. And you're out sitting there like, dude, you're naked. I was like, just sitting on the couch. And just like, yeah. Right. yeah, I so, remember you started playing it. <laughs> it was you started bad. playing it before me, and I was like, "Hey, let's hang out." You're like, "No, I can't. I got molten core tonight." I'm like, "What the? Yeah. What the fuck does that mean?" Yeah, we're raiding. Yeah, we're doing raiding. We're raiding core. I'm like, well, can you not? <laughs> like, let's nerd. go somewhere. And City. then I'm like, "What the fuck's wrong with you? I don't understand." I know. So then I'm like, "Okay, I'll play." And then I'm like, "Yeah, molten core tonight. We can't go anywhere." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I understand. And now. then he got it. He's like, "Yeah, hey, can I join your raid too later?" Yeah, <laughs> please, guys. Can I have some loot? I need that. Leroy yeah. Jenkins. Well, the the, mo- the most addicting thing was that we started the game when it's when it was brand new mm-hmm. it was an alpha and it was beta and we were there from for the entire thing so when you're that dedicated in the game people number one they remember who you are because you were they, you know other people that were that serious were right. obviously playing and then you just join forces and it's like when you put people who are addicted to a game and they now create this little guild of family of freaking people who are just addicted to a video game. And you're it's trying like to the worst thing ever. It's like you're in a room full of crack smokers and you're addicted to crack. <laughs> and like, you have these... Uh, what are you going to do? These Like you could be server first on these kills. Like yeah. That's super... Oh. That's a great goal for... I was like the president players. of the freaking World of yeah. Warcraft. It was like... <laughs> you like, you're like, feel like a celebrity of sorts. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. And it was horrible yeah. all at the same time. I, yeah, the worst is uh, yeah. I, there were moments in my life where I'm like, why, why didn't I go out? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think about. But then there was moments at the end of my World of Warcraft where I was like, f this game, yeah. I'm gonna go do something nasty. And <laughs> like one time, you know, that happened. You know, before the Brenda days, and some someone was like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm do like, you, uh... nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I hit that power button. I'm like, do you, uh... I was like, screw the raid. Do you remember my ex, uh, Christine? Uh, vaguely, vaguely. Yeah, and it, like I was still raiding, you know, back when I was with her, and I was sitting at my computer and I'm playing. We're doing like Lich King runs, whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I'm just sitting there, and she's hanging out, and all of a sudden she just walks out of the bathroom. She's totally naked. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, well, hello there. And, she, <laughs> and she's just looking at me, and I'm and she's just like, and I'm like, you are such a fucking tease. And she's yeah. like, I'm not a tease. You could get up. And come over here anytime you want, but you won't because you're playing the fucking game. You're the tease. I'm like, yeah, I know. Fuck, she's right. <laughs> and you're like, I'm almost done with the raid. She's like, yeah. you God fucking damn it. Moron. I still didn't get up. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. need to kill the Well, boss. something did, but wow. not you. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap. <laughs> What's that tap? I don't know. Well, and then I'm you, glad I never got Oh, that dude, game. I'm glad you didn't either, man. You would have fucking been miserable. <laughs> I love I've never it. been a fan of like role playing games and like oh, that so kind fun. of stuff. I love it. I think I like Some it because I I like to engage, like just become whatever I'm doing. So like I played uh, PUBG on a phone and my oh, first my month of playing this game on the phone, like mobile PUBG, I don't know if you've seen that. It's like it's this huge craze. I love but PUBG. I played it on the phone. The first thing I did was F with people. I'm like, this is awesome. I'm like, I'm like, blue system go, blue system go. Everybody coming in the raid. Come. We're going to go down and we're going to get in the red hut. Red hut. All right, everybody. Listen here, Johnny. I've been fighting with you for 20 years and I know you're good at this, brother. Follow me and we're going to win. And like, I'm just in and I'm mad. People are like, who is this? And all of a sudden, I'll join a game and be like, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm out here, Mississippi. And, I'm just, and I start just going off like different voices and people are like, who is this guy? And like, what? And then other times I have a girl's name. So I just do like motions in the game, like I'm doing sexual things. 
conduct to other people. <laughs> and this one guy, I have it on YouTube. He was like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Get my boy, get my boy. Because my character's like bobbing up and down, and then he's like, yeah, me turn, my turn. And he puts his character in front of me. Like I just like the weirdest things I do in games, and it's for fun, just to like. I don't know. It's so hilarious. To live out your gay offenses. Just to lay out my gay offenses. Yeah, that was a weird. That was a weird one. Fine. But but the voice thing is the best. Like my brother, him and I, like when we were playing together, we would be like little kid voices. You know, like hi, how's it going, guys? And then people people were like, hey, how old are you? And I'm like, I guess twelve. And you know, <laughs> mom, be quiet. And like you know, and people are literally into it, thinking that we're these little kids, or you know, we're you know little you know we're hicks from Arkansas or something. <laughs> Greg, but you know, I mean, yeah, just the funniest things, and that's what's so much fun about it. Just like you just kind of just it's like a playful place where you can do whatever the hell you want and nothing can happen, and that's why I get addicted to it. But Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like when you have no friends and you just need to find somebody, you go into a game, (laughs) dude. Well, I have a whole set of gaming friends, they live around the country, and we go online and we play games together online, yeah, you know, because I don't like it's hard to find people in real life who want to play that much, so. I got my real life friends and I got my gaming friends. Yeah, well. and my gaming friends we meet up once a year, so it's it's fun, it's cool. Yeah, I hear you, but you know, at some point you got to kind of drop it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I'm well, never. Well, you got to balance it. I'll out never your life. leave it. Like well, right I can't. That's a, that's my problem. That's why I don't play. So my kid has gone to bed. You know, yeah. he sleep. If I were to do time. that, I would yeah. never sleep. In fact, yeah, I tried. I just tried recently. I tried playing like that mobile PUBG. I couldn't do it. I was like, for every night. Four or five hours, and I just couldn't I like put the phone. I was like, "What the hell's wrong with me?" So I just like didn't. I stopped playing. I, just, I, I deleted the game. It was that in another game called Vainglory, and I couldn't put two, it down. But I, and I became hours. like the. And the other thing that's crazy is I became like the top person. Huh. Like I was the top player. Like I was like the things I would do. People were like, "You're cheating," and I'm like, "I'm not cheating." I just on the when phone. I, yeah. How the hell do you play? Oh, let me show phone. you. I'll show you later. I have such right. a nasty taste in my mouth from that anchovies. Really, Still? dude? Get some, uh, get some milk. I don't. don't drink milk. Okay. That's not a good idea. Get some, milk. get some mint I'm... yogurt soda. <laughs> get some what? <laughs> <laughs> milk? What? No. What do you have? Well, actually, well, you know, funny question. What do you have in your fridge? Like, what does a vegan have in their fridge? I've never thought about this. Uh, vegan frozen dinners. I have. Uh, Stuff for my instant pot. Okay. Like so a, you wait. So you're vegan except for fish. Yes. Yeah, so pescatarian. He's yeah, pescatarian. pescatarian. So well, I mean, <laughs> a, a, generally a pescatarian will eat you know dairy stuff. So you're so I'm a vegan. Who vegan eats plus fish. fish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. 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 yeah Interesting. Because really fish isn't meat. Yeah. yeah. They, don't <laughs> they don't count. You just like they made no your own fucking rules. Like so a bunch of people who just did couldn't do it. You couldn't go all the way. So you're like, well, well I, I I was vegan for at least four or five years before I started eating four fish. Four or again. five years. Yeah. What made you go back to Whew. the fish? I just missed eating sushi. Oh, oh yeah. sushi's so damn Love good. Sushi. So you're sushi okay, where's your where's your favorite place? <laughs> huh? Where's your favorite place to eat sushi? Uh oh man. There's a place in Huntington. I can't remember the name of it. Afternoon? Me and Joey went there. It's right hurricanes? by a place called Rip Brewing. It's like a hurricanes or something? Rip. Was it? Ripper? Is that the I, name? I, I, I can't remember. Hmm. I thought it was called like Hurricanes. But amazing sushi. Um, Zen okay. Sushi is a good place. The one I prefer is in um, <clears throat> Laguna Niguel. Good choice? No, it's called oh. Zen Sushi. Good oh. choice is disgusting. What? They, they've, they had what? that was there rad. Last time I was there, which was okay. years and years ago. <laughs> yeah, they had that beer. little revolving. Thing <laughs> yeah, you were so there, pissed. You know, You're like, how dare you talk how about you good sushi? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was crickets. You got real mad. You're okay, like, well, this is it. <laughs> I understand crickets, yes, but the food is really good. <laughs> no, crickets. good choice. No, no, no. no. you're fucking crazy. No. Good choice. That place is that the place off El Toro? Good choice no. has bad sushi. Where's it? Where's it? Where's Minato's it? off El Toro. That place is my. That's Minato? my place. Everyone's Minato. entitled to their opinion, yeah. but you're fucking. I love that place. <laughs> good God. No, uh, well, it's right by my house. And I can walk there. And Gang Kai is really good there in Dana Point. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, is, what was it called? Gang Kai. Okay, just make sure. It sounded like something else. The gay Kai. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying. <laughs> just thinking. No, they they have really good sushi. <laughs> okay. So I go yeah. there. Sushi's my my. That's our. 
our kryptonite. Like when Brent yeah. and I were like, we're, we're totally doing good on whatever, you know, meal planning thing we're doing. We're losing weight. And also we're like, fuck. And, and it's like 830, you know, I'm heading home and there's just one damn place that's like the best sushi on the way home right off of Green River. And it's like perfectly priced. Oh, do you, the you so she's Green like, Ribbon? what if I order just one roll? And I'm like, you uh, know that it's going to turn into three. Like <laughs> every time I, every one. time I go for sushi, I always end up spending at least $75 on myself. Yeah, that's Jesus. how it's. Yeah. I totally get it. <laughs> God damn. But you're it's getting like, a lot of sashimi though, right? No. Oh, you're just like, I get roll. like the rolls that and stuff. I get at least like three rolls. I'll get a side of uh, edamame. Three rolls this is, I could eat three rolls. This is the Alan I... <laughs> I, you know like, what's funny? Uh, I had a friend crazy. in elementary school who was from Arkansas. His mom, born and raised in Arkansas. I went over to their house. And I fucking we we just had like a pig out session yeah. in the kitchen. I told her everything. And she's like, "What's up with you, boy? You got a hollow leg?" <laughs> <laughs> a hollow leg. A hollow leg. Yeah, I, so I'm like, Look at you. like you got a hollow leg, man. That's the only place you can stick that. You take it off. <laughs> Take it off, put some food in that dish. Yeah. You're like, yep, this sure is hollow. <laughs> hollow as shit. I'll, I'll get at least like oh, three man. rolls. That's I'll get so a good. side of edamame and some miso soup. <laughs> I always get a shit side of edamame, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, funny, I can't remember this one. <laughs> That? You ha- you went through a phase of cougar phase. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, kinda, I, still, I still like cougars. Yeah, even we, though, I like, kind of want to talk about it. I know we're, cougar we're running age out at this point. Age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you no, know, right? No, but it was you no. Know, yeah, that sucks, that's the man. Thing. It's the same once, probably. Yeah, now they're sixty. <laughs> now oh, they're saber teeth. It's a gilf. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, how's the gilf doing? Yeah, yeah. the gilf. Now, if I want cougars, they're like in their like fifties and sixties. But no, what I, do you I, call those I, white I, walkers? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other level, man. I, I I I can't go for that. <laughs> That's the best one ever. Oh my Ooh. god. But yeah, That's so yeah, bad. In my Girls. early and mid twenties, I I, oh. I preferred cougars. Yeah. There, was, there was a place called Foxfire. Oh, That's it. Yeah. That's the one. The ninety. Yeah. <laughs> the ninety. Yeah. The ninety and the ninety-one. Yeah. You go there, and the what women. Was your, what was your tactics? Like you knew what was going to happen when you went there. Well, so as soon as you walk in, there was women at the bar, okay. and they would eye you like you were they a piece of candy. Up. Yeah. They you knew just that... walked in. And they were like. Mm, mm. <laughs> no way! Just licking Wait, those dentures. <laughs> so, like, I mean, like, you felt you're like, well, I'm totally naked you, you right now. Totally Regardless oh, of what man. I'm wearing, they see everything. You, you understood how women feel when, really, like, a, a woman would walk yeah. into a bar yeah. and guys would like, like God, Google all Just, uh, over them. Did, did it, it make you the feel bad? Though? Opposite. Did huh? you did you feel though like ashamed? Like, oh, why you, like like eyes up here, girls. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do anything like that? Yeah, did you? I, or did you feed into it? it you're like, it yeah. Felt, it felt you're all walking, like, shaking, doing a hip thrust. It, it felt a little... <laughs> gun, gun slinging. John Travolta. Fucking Bee Gees are playing in the background. Yeah. Hey, That's it. Alan comes in. Yeah. It was, it was a little awkward. Yeah. I don't know. It was I, a little awkward. I, but, I wish I was know, there. He, Fly on the wall and see Alan So were they, like, they were in their 40s? Whew. At that time, it, At yeah, I would say yeah. like forties to like sixties. You yeah. fucked a sixty year old? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. But I've I've messed around when yeah. I was in my mid twenties. The mm-hmm. oldest I was. Yeah, ever biggest with age was, gap. Uh, close to fifty. Fifty years what? age gap. So they were seven. No, no, no. It was a place called Dirty Nelly. Like a twenty, so a whoa, 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 like a twenty-year age gap. What's the age gap? About twenty-five. Oh, okay, you said uh, 50. Year age gap. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's years. good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's senior. So, you, did you get a uh, discount on that day? That's senior, depending on what age you were. What age oh, were you? <laughs> were you over twenty-five? I, I was around 24, 25 years old. Dude, that's good. Yeah. That's, did you get a good meal? <laughs> Cougar we bait. cheap. We, she knit you a sweater. We, <laughs> Jesus. We, we hooked Homemade up. yarmulke. It's like I left a real Jew. We hooked up in my car. Yeah, go ahead. And Nate, who was here last week, yeah, he hooked up with her friend in Shut my back your face. Seat. That's why you call him Nasty Nate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't call me that. Don't call me that. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's got these That's a long time so, ago. Yeah. That happened. Okay. And then about a few weeks later, 
I went to a different karaoke spot and I saw her and yeah. this woman was with her boyfriend oh, no. at the place. Oh no. And I was with a couple buddies of mine and I was like Sorry. That's the f- that's the freaking girl that you know hooked up with me yeah. in yeah, the yeah. parking lot at this place and I said it kind of loud and I don't know I think she heard me and yeah, I hope her like, boyfriend what? didn't hear me but like Oh man. <laughs> What, was he like a 50-year-old bodybuilder or something? <laughs> no, no. Okay. He was a, a weird-looking guy, but, yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, craziness. 19-year-old kid or something. I don't think I've ever been in that situation <laughs> no. where like people were, go- you know, just wanted, wanted to rip everything off of me just to get some. Like, <laughs> when I walk in, they're like, oh, yeah. I went to a... Is that a woman balance. or a man? Yeah. A oh, really? A gay? Yeah. Laguna Beach? They, no, pro- they probably Vegas, loved you, huh? Um, you were like a perfect little bear cub, huh? Yeah. They're like... <laughs> No, Come here, little cubby. Thing. It was the weirdest story. Like, I just, okay, so I was with, uh, it was back when I was working at AMR, and yeah. I had the guy who I always worked with, my permanent partner. Yeah. And uh, we went to Vegas together, and he had a friend there who, his wife was friends with the dude who was like PR for one of the casinos. So he knew fucking everybody in Vegas, but he was gay. So he had like tons of gay friends. Okay. And we're like, we're like okay, we're going out. Like, we're going to get VIP treatment. But you just got to go where, where I want to go. Wherever you go. Okay, fine. And so first thing we did was go to a gay bar. <laughs> but it was like we skipped the line. We had free drinks. That, you I felt like, just like a women, yeah. women's night out. You're like, like, what? Like, <laughs> He's like a woo girl. <laughs> and I'm like, baby. Before I went in, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a little scared to be honest with you. I don't know how to, what am I, what do I, what should I expect? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, just don't make eye contact with anybody. <laughs> and then look at good. their shoes. Like, okay, I'm going to look at shoes. That's yeah, it. you don't want to get roofied. Dude, yeah. yeah, could you imagine you wake up, your hands behind your back, your, your face yeah, is I, on well, the ground. Yeah. Right? Because it was like Things you said, sting. like it was the opportunity to be yeah. the piece of meat. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I was in my 20s, so who yeah. knows? I could have been You've tried yeah. to somebody. So. I mean, who knows? <laughs> tips are tips, right? Did you ever mess around with any cougars in your early 20s? Uh, yeah, I worked with one, actually. Yeah. I don't want to say her name. Uh, in and out. <laughs> Uh, no, just after. <laughs> she was the man. Who was she? Yeah. <laughs> when I was at SoCal Gas Company, the mm-hmm. utility company. Oh, she, uh, the okay. age gap, let's see, about 14 years. Okay. Yeah, so fine. I was like 24, 38. It's not 25. Something. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. Yeah. But yeah. She's not the zookeeper. I that was the oldest I've ever been with. When 14. I was 27, I dated a 34-year-old. That's perfect. That was fine. Seven years. Yeah, that's, that's normal. perfect. That's pretty, pretty nice. As long as it's legal. Yeah, I've never... <laughs> mm. Is there like an illegal old age? Yeah. <laughs> is there like after gap 60? Where they're like, like, sir, sir, I think you broke her hip. This is illegal. <laughs> You're about to commit murder. Murder. Have you seen that yeah. movie? It's like I've and I can't Oh, yeah. 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 Arms broken. She's yeah, like, great. keep it's going, Alan. my favorite movies. It's so cool. Keep going. <laughs> um, I can see your rib cage. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll pop back in. No, I literally can see your ribs. They're the bones. <laughs> yeah. Your skin is gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. That's so raw. <laughs> no wonder you like sushi. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, the fish in the sea. <laughs> Anyways. Man, I can only imagine that just... Yeah, because I remember those stories. I, I would talk to you and be like, so how's it going on? You're like, dude, I got this girl. And they're like, you mean grandma? Like, <laughs> what? The I remember there was one woman, and the daughter was like close to your age, and I was like, how is that like not okay? Like normal? Like, tell me more. I don't remember. You this. don't remember that one? Yeah. The, you, you said she had like a twenty year old daughter, and and you would, or maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was Ron. I don't know. Maybe it was Ron actually. <laughs> Fuck. But I mean, both of you guys were robbing something, but. Anywho, craziness. I regardless still still blows my mind that you even had that you took well, you had you had the chance and you took it and you went with it. Yeah. You wrote a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you, okay, com- so would you compare that the uh sexual just endurance was still there of a young woman? Yeah. Really? There's no bullshit with older women. They yeah. just want that one thing, you know? Yeah. That's what's weird. Like, when it and comes there's to no age, messing around, huh? there's no age when it comes to the bedroom with mm-hmm. them. It's almost like they're, God, like they're they're still 18 no matter what. <laughs> they remember. It's like, yeah, it's like they're the like, yeah, muscle back memory. In the yeah, muscle memory. <laughs> well, muscle Don't break memory. some bones. Things tighten doing up. It. Just, <laughs> That's I know what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like I mean, crunch shit. I don't know if you guys yeah. feel the same way, but like, you know, we're approaching 40. I don't know about you. Yeah. But yeah. Like, you just don't give a fuck about some things anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's you, probably what it is, too. Like, I, I'm realizing there's things that I wanted to do that I didn't do because I was worried what random strangers would think about me. And I'm like, how yeah. fucking stupid is that? So yeah. Yeah. Now I, I pretty much do what I want, you know, without being obscene. That's good. <laughs> yeah. And so I feel like, you know, Women, men, whoever, once you get to around 40 or maybe older, a little older, you just, just want to have fun. I want to do what I want to do. Yep. I'm going to, yeah. it's not a if I want, If I want to braid this thing down here, I'm going to braid yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember I was like, you know, you're, you're, you're like just trimming everything, and all of a sudden you get to an age, you're like, well, there, puff the magic dragons down there, huh? Woo-hoo, how you feeling there, burly boy? Sorry. What? I want to wax my ass. So what? Yeah, can't grow a beard up here. I'm going to grow it down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right though. Like, there's just like I'm, just, I'm certain there's most of these women are like, screw it. Like, I there is nobody else, and my kids are in college, so I'm gonna have to find one out here. Yeah, Which that's where it gets a little creepy though. I'm like, mm, yeah, because like, what if it's their like their son, the same age as their son? That gets a little weird. That doesn't mean that it just gets a little weird. Well, maybe, mm. but it's it's still a little weird. <laughs> as long as she's tight I'll do it yeah. <laughs> Alan's like it. I can see Alan's like well who do you know <laughs> he's got that look you were asking me do you know somebody <laughs> yeah there are kind of just weird little things like that that people can yeah. help on man what a good time guys I, you know what we've already been going for a while but uh, it's been fun and I think we can uh, definitely set up some more stories for next time yeah and the beer to be expected do you any ideas what, what's coming up People, people we'll interested. See. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's always going to be a surprise. <laughs> Depends on what's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I got to take my beer card. Depends on what brewery I go uh, to next. All right, cool. All right, well, everybody, thanks for joining us. I think that is about it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Adios. <laughs>